Hey everybody, it's Jessica from TheSkinnyBuddyMorrow.com. Um, so, I'm going to get a little personal with you right now. Um, I know that there's a ton of people that follow this page that are trying to lose weight, trying to lose, you know, trying to get healthier, trying to do all these sorts of things, right? And so, like I said, I'm about to get personal with you right now because I want you guys to know this. It's really, really important. Um, I recently went and had blood work done. Uh, for uh, numerous reasons because I haven't had blood work done forever and it's really important to know what the hell's going on in your body but um, even more so because um, you know just where my future is going I need to be preparing and you know seeing making sure everything's in check and all that stuff so um, I need to um, I needed to tell you guys something so important I had my blood work done and it came back um, that something that was really alarming on the test was everything else was okay, um, but something that was really alarming was that I was extremely deficient in vitamin D. Now, you'd probably think, like, all right, vitamin D, just go out in the sun, right? Wrong. Um, you know, I knew that I would probably have a lower number of vitamin D because I'm vegan, so I, I don't have, oh, thank you, Olivia, I don't have, um, you know, the daily, you know, milk, um, fish, eggs, things like that, right? Because that's all vitamin D. Um, so I knew I would be low, but I didn't realize it would be super deficient to where it was alarming on the test. So, um, turns out, well, let me actually, let me rewind. So for the last three months, I have been, um, working out every single day, um, whether it's weightlifting and cardio or just cardio or both, whatever. Um, I eat right all the time. As you know, like I said, I'm vegan. Um, so I eat really healthy. Um, and my weight was not budging on the scale at all. Like for the amount of cardio I was doing, I was, do I've been doing like two to three, um, 5k runs a week. So it's a lot of cardio, right? So I'm like, okay, what is going on? So I'm tired all the time. I'll get like eight hours of sleep and I'll, I'll wake up as though like I was knocked in the head. Like I feel like exhausted all day, every day. So then I'm like, all right, I'm dying. Something's wrong, right? So anyway, I had the blood tested. It turns out that vitamin D is um, a very, uh, very strongly linked to weight loss or weight gain among other things. Vitamin D actually, after doing my research, is extremely um, important for your health overall. So as people are trying to lose weight, right, uh, that watch this, and if you're eating right and you're exercising and nothing is happening, um, you know, my thyroid was fine. So that was obviously the first check. Um, you know, I'm not diabetic or, you know, there's nothing go else happening aside from this super low deficiency for vitamin D. Um, now, the normal range is um, about 50 to 100 uh, units, they call it. My number was 13.7. That, like, that was what the range was going from. So I was at 13.7 for the normal range of 50 to 100. So um, anyway, contacted a doctor, and I'm going on vitamin D supplements in very heavy doses, um, but not too heavy because if you do too much, it's bad. But um, I'm going to do that for the next eight weeks, and it's going to be you know, hopefully a drastic improvement as I've been told. But going back to what I said, if you're trying to lose weight and you are not seeing anything happen and you are, be realistic now, you are eating right, you are working out. And I don't mean like five minute workout. I mean like getting a sweat on, getting your, your, you know, your heart pumping and all that stuff. Um, you know, cause like I said, I was doing like two to three, five K runs a week in the last three months. So I should be losing weight, right? Nope, nothing's happening. So anyway, um, yeah, vitamin D seems to be the culprit in my in my uh, in my body. So you can get it through the sun, obviously, but also you know we don't want to be getting all those bad sun things from you know for on your skin and all that stuff. So um, very minimal amount of foods have enough. So really, a supplement is like the best way to go. Um, and especially for me, because really the only food that I can have that has enough or at least a good amount of vitamin D in it is in some mushrooms, actually, because they're sitting out in the sun and it's a whole big thing. But all my research, right? So anyway, yeah, I hope it helps. I hope it helps me. I hope it helps you guys, you know, because I didn't realize how much vitamin D played a huge part on things in your body. Um, but if you do your research, it, it actually, it has been linked to burning fat. 
Um, what, Mandy? I don't know who you are or what you're talking about or why you're saying I'm ignoring you, but I'm not ignoring you. Um, thank you, Olivia. I hope I do too. Uh, according to the doctor and what he had to say, I should be good to go. So, um, orange juice, yeah, but the amount that you would need for my number, the amount that I would need would be way too much orange juice, therefore way too much sugar. So supplements are definitely the way to go. Um, so yeah, and you can get them and they don't need to be prescription either. Like the doctor literally said, he's like, I could prescribe you something, but I don't need to write your prescription because you can literally go to Costco and get this vitamin D supplement. So, um, yeah, so that's, uh, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Share, share away. I want people to know this. Um, because, uh, and also with blood testing in general practice and, you know, as a whole, they don't really look at vitamin D unless you ask them to most doctors. So, but it's crazy because they should, because it's not just, you know, weight loss, weight gain, things like that. There's a significant link to obesity in, um, vitamin D deficient individuals, like significant link. Um, and then obviously obesity that, you know, causing all other sorts of things. Right. But also cause I have PCOS. Um, so, but being vegan, I've actually minimized those symptoms and it's been greatly reduced, um, by getting rid of dairy, but PCOS is also linked to vitamin D deficiency, right? So all of these things is yes, chronic pain as well. So, um, you know, Mandy, I don't know what you're talking about, but you're starting to get on my nerves. So either like say what you want to, to at me, me to answer or stop talking. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Everybody else is talking and I'm seeing their comments. All I see is you complaining. I don't know. But, um, yes, yes. It's vitamin D is extremely important. And who knew, who even knew how important it was? So I'm going to take it. Um, I'm going to take uh, about 50,000 units a week because my number's so low, we have to do a higher number to get going. Um, and then hopefully with my working out and all that stuff, I'm going to be, I'm going to be killing it. We'll see. But either way, even without the weight loss and the working out and things like that, I just want to wake up and feel like not all over pain. And it's not even like a sharp pain. It's just like these dull aches all over my body every single day. Um, where I'm just like, you know, I'm exhausted. I wake up no matter how many hours of sleep I get and I never wake up feeling refreshed ever, ever. I don't know the last time I woke up where something didn't hurt on my body. So apparently again, this is all because of my vitamin D deficiency. So just wanted to let you guys know, um, I don't normally talk about this stuff on here, but I thought it was really important to tell you because as everybody that follows this, you know, something that you guys need to know. So I'll let you know how it goes for me. Um, but other than that, my tests were, were a okay for everything else. And, uh, yeah, so I got PCOS against me with the vitamin D and I got my vegan stuff against me with the vitamin D and yeah, I can go outside in the sun for a little bit, but it's not going to be enough for my number. So anyway, oh, <laughs> sorry, Carolyn, <laughs> my, um, my thyroid levels are normal. They are in the normal range, so um, everything is uh, everything is good to go. Mandy, if you're asking me a question, I don't know what you're asking me. Are you are you speaking to the computer or are you typing it? Can you please type your question so I know what you're asking? Because I would love to answer you. I just don't see your question anywhere. I don't know what's going on. So please please ask me or message me, because if this is your fifth time asking me the question, I don't know. But anyway, all right, you guys, thank you uh, for hopping on and listening. And uh, yeah, like I said, if you're trying to lose weight or if you're tired or in chronic pain and it's just blah, there's, it's also linked to depression and mood swings all the time with me, my husband will tell you. Um, thank you. Thank you. Um, and you know, everything else. But um, yeah, so get blood tests done. Get them done. Because my gut was telling me to get it done. So obviously... Thank you guys. All right. Well, take that advice and uh, maybe it'll help change you guys too. We'll see, but I'll keep you updated. All right. Thank you. Bye.